everybody, it's Peacemaker, star of Peacemaker. I made this explicit trailer for you. It's gonna blow your mind. All right, kids, and that's how I defeated one of the world's most dangerous villains, with only my two fists, my Desert Eagle, and two rocket launchers. Eat peace, mother Any questions? Have you met Wonder Woman? She did spend an entire party IFing me from across the room. Sick. Dude! Dude, I said effing! Hey! Aren't you guys being a little nonchalant about all this? Are you insinuating there is a wrong time and a right time to rock? Fuck yeah! You don't understand what we're up against. We need every hand on deck. Is that an eagle? It's eagle. My sidekick. Ah, my asshole! What the f is wrong with your bird? Such a good handsome boy. Dude, we're saving the world. It's everything we've ever wanted. Fuck, dude! Yeah. Tell me what you know. I'm telling you shit. How do you like that? I like it. I like it a lot. I don't give a fuck. What? Give it all you got. Hey, don't worry. I'm not giving this guy anything. Uh, maybe you could just give him a little. Hey, Sweet Cheeks, can you take my order real quick? Seriously, dude. She had cherubic cheeks. It's a compliment. Sweet Cheeks is your butt. No, it's not. It is. It's like calling somebody, I don't know, sugar tits. Totally inappropriate. Tits are way too big to be sugar tits. Sugar tits are like smaller, perkier tits, like yours. Uh, technically, I think you may have sugar tits, too, but somehow that also feels inappropriate. Happy New Year, everyone. This is going to be my Peacemaker trailer video for the new DC series based on the Suicide Squad movie. This is meant to be a spinoff for John Cena's character and take place after the events of the Suicide Squad movie. The episodes are going to start in a couple weeks, so I'll explain how that's going to work. Be sure to subscribe to get them all. This is meant to be like DC's first version of their own Marvel Disney Plus series where you have movie actors doing TV series on HBO, HBO Max. And one of the other cool details James Gunn just revealed is that they actually filmed post credit scenes, legit post credit scenes for each of the episodes, just because he wanted to do something extra special for all the comic book fans out there that would be expecting something like that. That has actually been one of my criticisms of some of the Marvel Disney Plus series is that sometimes we'll get post credit scenes, but in the case of say like the Hawkeye series, you get like a really weird post credit scene, but it was more like the Marvel people trolling you with the post credit scene. But this trailer gives you a little more of the actual plot of the Peacemaker series. They still haven't revealed the actual main mission that they're going on, like what this dangerous mission that only Peacemaker can do is. You only see them recruiting him because the job is so bad, it's something that they can't even use the Suicide Squad for, if you could believe it. The only thing James Gunn has said about the plot that gives any hints about what it is they're going after during the series is that there's a sci-fi aspect to the story, as in something else from space or some tech-based world-ending threat that's super shady that the government is probably totally connected to on the DL. There's a scene later in the trailer where you see this giant swarm of lights in the sky that look like they could either be drones or some tech-based villain threat or something that somebody else is manipulating. That might have something to do with that quote-unquote sci-fi story that James Gunn is talking about with the villain. Love the way they start the beginning of this trailer too where he's low-key corrupting a classroom of children. Notice the little girl here that has the Flash t-shirt on. They ask him about the Justice League characters like, have you met the Justice League? He jokes about Wonder Woman giving him bedroom eyes across the room at some party that they were at. One of the other funny things about his character is that he is 100% serious when he's saying all these things. Like, as ridiculous as he is, he completely believes everything that he's saying. But you get the vibe from the kids that they also kind of think that he's lame. Like, what? This sucks. Where's the real Justice League? The funny thing about that, though, is that Henry Cavill's Superman actually did go eat lunch with the shazam -ly at the end of the first Shazam movie. But that's mostly because Billy Batson's Shazam is so powerful. You probably recognize the actor sitting in the background here yelling at Peacemaker. They had another funny clip with him at Peacemaker's hospital when they're talking about Aquaman. You're kind of bulky to be a superhero, Bucky, aren't you? you mean bulky? All superheroes have a gymnast body. They're ready to go. I'm ready to go. What superhero are you? Peacemaker. <laughs> Get out of here, mother... You a fan? There's no superhero called Peacemaker. Dude, I'm famous. Not that famous. Aquaman, he's famous. Aquaman. No, man. So expect a lot of references to the Suicide Squad movie, to the Justice League characters like Batman, Wonder Woman, Superman, the other characters like Flash, Aquaman, even Cyborg. But don't be surprised if you also see a lot of other comic book references and jokes to moments in other movies too, like Marvel references. Like they have that Guardians of the Galaxy slow walk montage scene later with the actual pet bald eagle walking with them. 
James Gunn, most of you remember, director of the Guardians of the Galaxy movies in the Marvel Universe. In fact, while I'm making this trailer video, James Gunn is in the middle of making Guardians of the Galaxy 3. Don't worry, I'll do separate videos about that. Obviously, they're going to be showing up during Thor Love and Thunder. But just do not be surprised if you see all kinds of comic book Easter eggs and references to Marvel movies, DC movies, everything in this. Zoom and enhance on the blackboard behind them. You see the word of the day is moistly for some strange reason. And there's a bunch of bees and honeycomb decorations above him. Anytime I see honeycomb or bees in the DC universe, I always think of Hive. So maybe this is low key foreshadowing for Hive in the series. Maybe they have something to do with the plot. One of the other main villains you do see him fighting in all the trailer footage is Judo Master. In keeping with the Suicide Squad movie theme of using C, D-list characters you probably never heard of, super weird characters, super ridiculous, obscure people, I'll give you one guess as to what his ability is. But the other reason why they're using him in particular is because he's also from the old school Charlton Comics group of characters where John Cena's Peacemaker character came from back in the day. My guess is that Judo Master is either like a mid boss who's working for the actual main villain or he's just like a really big side quest that Peacemaker encounters during the series. There are eight episodes total so there will be more DC villains that they'll face and obviously there's some secret main villain that we don't know about yet. But like I said in all my Suicide Squad movie videos, usually the actual main villain in Suicide Squad stories, and that's kind of what this is, it's a Suicide Squad story, the main villain usually winds up being either Amanda Waller, the US military, or the US government themselves in some way. The rocket launchers that he talks about are his two arms, like he's calling his arms the rocket launchers as he literally picks up and throws a warhead at these villains like this group of workers who are secretly villains in the background. You can see them later in the trailer jumping around as if they're either aliens or they have superpowers themselves or they're hocked up on some kind of super soldier serum. Something weird is going on with them that's giving them these abilities. The Desert Eagle that he mentions is his shield from the comics. It's a little bit different from the comic book version, but it has the eagle branding on it because that's his whole thing. He does have a cool takedown, but because his character is just so silly, it's sort of like the Walmart version of Captain America using Thor's hammer and his shield at the same time to fight Thanos. Like the whole idea is that Peacemaker thinks that he is like a Justice League level character in his own mind. I've already explained most of his teammates in my previous Peacemaker trailer videos. Most of them you'll recognize from Amanda Waller's Argus or her Task Force X team in the Suicide Squad movie. They're using the term Task Force X. So when they talk about this team here, these are all people who work for Amanda Waller under Task Force X. They explained in the Suicide Squad movie post credit scene that they feel like they're being saddled with this Peacemaker mission, like a babysitting mission as a way of her retaliating against the office for revolting against her when she tried to kill all the members of the team. His new sidekick is a much more comic book accurate looking version of Vigilante from the comics. He's a little bit sillier the way they're playing him, like they're playing him just as crazy as Peacemaker is during the series. They did do a version of the character on Arrow, but he was a vastly different version. Like each of these versions are slightly different from the comic book version. Zoom and enhance here, you can see that the team has either hooked up Peacemaker's helmets with a bunch of upgrades or he's already got these versions. Like the helmet that he grabs here is an X-ray vision helmet, so the other helmets have special abilities added to them. Love all the scenes with his pet bald eagle. It's literally named Eagly, that's what he calls it. And it looks like it's kind of trained, like he thinks of it like a dog, but it's more of like a cat, like the way you would try to train a cat, but it's way harder to get cats to do what you want them to do. Oh my God, he's, he's hugging me. He's hugging me. Dad, grab my phone, I don't want to move. So just based on the scenes from the other trailers, it seems like the eagle mostly does just whatever it wants to do. And sometimes it acts like it's obeying his commands. There'll be eight episodes total. The first three episodes are going to drop Thursday, January 13th. And then after that, it'll just be one episode per week. But if there was any confusion, this is connected to the DCEU, just like the Suicide Squad movie was. In related news, there will be a lot more Batman trailers coming. Obviously, that's taking place on Earth, too. So the Robert Pattinson Batman movie is not taking place in the DCEU. And even though we just had all that Spider-Man No Way Home craziness, the new Morbius movie is actually going to be dropping in a couple weeks. And because of what happened during Spider-Man No Way Home, the Morbius movie is now connected to all that. We understand some of the Easter eggs in the trailer a little bit better. I know there's also a lot of questions about that being connected to the Andrew Garfield Amazing Spider-Man universe just because of all the Easter eggs. So I'll post a new Morbius trailer video probably tomorrow if I don't do it later tonight. So happy new year, everyone. Happy 2020. There is a lot of really, really cool stuff coming up in the next couple of months. So make sure you enable alerts for my channel so you don't miss any of that. 
Everyone click here for my full Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness trailer video and click here to learn about how all the timelines changed at the end of Spider-Man No Way Home for all the other multiverse characters. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.